Well, come on, man. We got the Roxy 3. The Roxy 3. And you know what? I jumped in early enough because I, I put that thing like uh, uh, notify me when it comes into stock, right? So, because I wanted the flame to handle S35VN, by the way. So let's check it out. Ooh, big, huge chamois. I'll be wiping down my big Chevy truck one ton with that. And what else? <laughs> if I had one, hell, I couldn't afford a 1992 with 300,000 miles on it. Okay, there we go. Of course, you get a free, what is that, the Arrakis uh, Isham? Yes, knife. Doesn't cut with a crap, though. And uh, this, okay, and another sticker. Like, yeah, I think that's a, now that, is that a sticker? Whatever. You think I care? Eh, no, not really. Care about the knife, though? Check this out. Flame on, brother. And drop it, drop it, drop. Now, Todd Knife and Tool, S35. Way down there, very muted, huh? Todd Knife and Tool. He's in Arkansas. Did you know that? Yeah, hell yeah. Because I bugged him on a Civivi thing. <laughs> I sent it to him. He got in the middle of that. Uh, but he got her all fixed up and sent back to me. So that was cool. Uh, look at that. Are we stone washy? Yeah. Flamed up. Backspacer. There you go. So you got kind of suspended look plus a non-suspended plus you carry this to the airport, you'll get suspended. Ah, uh, pocket clip. Check that out. It's very, you know, it's camouflaged. It looks just like the handle does. That's weird. And look at the uh, hardware. Kind of a gold looking color, isn't it? I'll bet that's titanium. Come here. Where's my, where's my magneto? Ooh, hold on. There's something passing through here that's not... But I'm thinking the screws are titanium. That, but of course I'm feeling the blade through here. But I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, because this is not, see these screws? Nothing. But the closer I get in here, there's there's a pass through here that's, that's steel, which is good because you got titanium screwing into that. But yeah, that's, yeah, that's all titanium. The hardware's titanium on there. It probably says so on Wee Knives. All I had to do is look. Now, ergos. Come on, we can tuck into there. So this is the way, you know, I'm going to kind of have to do this. I mean, I can back up, but then it's a three finger knife because this is the year of tiny. So this is, this is the 3.1 inch blade. What else does it say on here? Uh, 7.2 inches overall, S35, stone wash on the blade, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way. And what it what Todd and I've been doing, yeah, Seth, Todd. Um, front flipper. Is it a front flipper? Yeah, it is. And right there. Um, I don't know, but I'm always like into doing this. And you got, thank God, you know, they put the fuller in there and the cutaway. So you can just finger flick till your heart's content. It's nice that way. Here's all your different variations, by the way. Okay. So you can get it all black and all silver. And you can get it this crazy color with uh, with black blade. Blah, blah, blah. So a bunch of stuff. Now, it, they ain't giving them away. $238. But $23.80 off, right? So a little over $200 overall, overall. So not bad. And... What do we got for size comparison? Why not the Tucson Vandal? So the Vandal's like nine and a quarter inches overall length. And uh, so it's way bigger, isn't it? Way damn bigger. Way damn heavier too, I'll bet you. And where did my little, oh, there's my calipers over here. Let's see, what do we got? 0.48. 12.2 millimeters, so 4.8, uh, I mean 0.48, so not quite a full half inch thick. Not bad, 
But look at that. That that blade stock is almost four millimeters at 0.15. Okay. So that's some thick as a brick blade stock. I mean, com, you know, considering the length of this knife, which ain't real long. Okay. See what I'm saying? 3.15 probably uh, length blade at 80 millimeters overall, seven and a quarter at 18 and a half centimeters. Okay. So nice gent carry, except, you know, maybe not that light. Let's see. Okay. I mean, like the bug outs, two ounces, right? And about the same size. So, yes, you've got chunky blade, chunky. So this is kind of chunky and heavy for what it is, you know. And 121, 121 grams. So, okay. So it's substantial. And I, I, that doesn't bother me, really, to tell you the truth. But I like the design. I, you know, the Roxy, the Roxy 2, the Roxy 4. Um, this is the Roxy 3. What the hell? So, yeah, I mean, I like the bigger model. And I don't have it, and I wished I did. And I think Best Tech came out with one that is, uh, and I can't remember the name of the model, maybe I'll put it down here, that is really uh, cool as well. And I think I may have liked it better than the various different models that We Knives did for uh, Todd Knife and Tool. Boy, that's something, isn't it? That is, uh, yeah, that's tactile. Can we say that? Tactile. Oh, uh, let me see. We got a piece of paper. Let's get rid of this STS thing. It's all terrain. Okay. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of reasonably good factory edge. I'm nothing to brag about. Not scary, but... But not bad, but kind of standard as they run. Yeah, the fit and finish is nice on these, that's for sure. We'll take this one apart. Nothing going on there, but you know how they did this and they stepped this down on both sides. So they took a lot of material off, although, like I said, it's not a lightweight necessarily. And lockup is... 25% maybe, being generous. Here's a little kind of area for, you know, to disengage. And it disengages fine. It gets over the detent ball pretty nicely. I don't know, is this an, you know, a lot of people are always like, I'm lousy at front flipping. Which front flipper would be really one of the easier ones to try and master? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I put this one in that box. Um, you know, that'll be something I'll have to think about. Um, of all the front flippers, you guys might want to throw that in there to help me out, advise people going forward, which one is the easiest front flipper. Um, this one's not bad, but then again, I mean, it's hard for me to differentiate because I can pretty much get comfortable front flipping most of them but uh, you know you can tell some are much easier than others and then you know what usually I just do this I finger flick it as far as there is I'm concerned they could have brought this right in here it would have cleaned this line up so much nicer and I mean I'd have been just so happy to be able to just finger flick it to tell you the truth roll it around thumb flick whatever right um, you could do whatever you want and you didn't need the front flipper and so I, I mean I'm not going to be you know very depressed when the front flipper fade fades out that that fad the hold on the front flipper fad fades out jeez and um design flow blade handle length great fine like it good this is nice. Yeah, I like this backspacer. Is that cool? I mean, I like it. That that's that's a good looking. I like it when they do something with it, you know. 
First of all, it's fairly long, so it really protects you from accidentally hitting that blade, if that would be possible at all, okay? But still, uh, and you know what? It kind of tubes that, uh, that lanyard as well, but you can see the line going through there or whatever, and that's, uh, that's, that's thoughtful. And I like this, this kind of uh, design work they did on the pocket clip, but you know, pretty much thought things out pretty carefully. Uh, and then this over travel, and let me see, did they really do, I mean, if they skip the over travel stop here, then that's what this is. And it kind of makes it look a little bit more kind of industrial or something, you know, which this whole knife has got that kind of tool and die look to it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not an elegant gent. But it's way cool. Okay, let's see what we can do to destroy this knife. I mean, you know, why let it live? Let's get it apart here. Pew! Well, that wasn't tough. Almost looks like a body screw in there, practically. And, and that's one thing we knives have done, and Civivi as well, you know, um, is go to number eights, mostly, mostly. I just wanted to blow apart, didn't it? Um, okay, and, it, and I didn't need to do anything with the pocket clip as a result. And there's the screws. Okay, so there isn't an over-travel stop here. It's a hardened steel insert with ceramic detent ball, but yeah, that is the over-travel stop. That's it, folks. Okay. Um, and of course, you know, steel washer there. Next. Clean, not bad on the inside. Uh, ceramic bearings. Uh, ceramic bearings, not, you know, overly expensive looking. You know, I've seen that kind in a $40 knife, so... But, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, I, I don't know. you got a choice of a lot of different bearing styles that you can put on there. Let's take this big old hoss. Okay, good. So we got the washer out. And get it out of this one, too. There you go. Got both them washers out. And let's see what we got on the back side of here. So we do, we have a nub machined right there. So we have a nub machined right there. You can see that little area. So it lines up down there, it kicks down. So it's not going to spin when you uh, take that, the screw off from the other side. Woo, you just don't want to do that, do you? Okay. Talk about tight. Wow. That is tight tolerance there. I mean, that could have been a little bit, give me a little bit more room to settle that down. Wow. Okay. Oh. Let's put our washers, bearings. Go go juice uh, blade and just uh, looks all right. Right there. Bearings. Okay. And our uh, washer again. Stack that on top. And they both fall out, okay. And do this on top. Get the surround and the pivot screw in here. Come on, get you in there. Okay, now let's try. All right, 
come on. Okay. I think we're good. Um, we've got a couple of body screws over here that we need to stick in. And we just scared that one out. Get in. Okay. What do you think? Looks centered. Oh, she's sitting down. Ah, there you go. I think that hadn't really settled in there right. And so after flipping it a couple times, it found its niche, found its little nub and fell in. Okay, now we got her tightened down. Okay. Now I might have it a little tighter than it needs to be. So let's back it up. Yeah, a little bit. I didn't need it quite that tight. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, and are we still centered? Yeah, we are. Right on. Is there any play? Nope. No play. So we're good. Boom, man. The Roxy 3. The little, the little engine that could, right? Because he's the little tough guy. Tough guy, huh? Uh, yeah. Check it out. Look at that. That's that's some nice little drop on that. <sighs> Come on. Come on, I'm on blood thinner. Get some. Oh, you tried that time, didn't you? Yeah, you tried, but you didn't get any. Ha-ha. Just wait till I'm not paying attention. Yeah, that I know you're going you're going to jump on it then. Okay. That's cool. That is cool. Roxy 3 is a lot of fun. And I'm going to let you guys go about your thing. Thanks for hanging out with LTK. We do love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.